In this video, we will show you the new features of version 6.7 of MetaMice, starting with the generic DNS server support. With the generic DNS server support, we are adding support for multiple DNS servers, starting now in version 6.7 with PowerDNS and Amazon Route 53. I'm going to show you how easy it is to add my Amazon Route 53 account into MetaMice. Simply go into DNS servers, hit the plus sign, type in a server name and the IP address. And this machine here is a local machine on my network, which is running a Python script that will interact with my Amazon Route 53 account. Now, MetaMask has connected to my Amazon Route 53 account, and I can see the zones which are stored in my account. The zones are here on the server. I can open up a zone and I can also create new zones. Here I have an entry and I can change the IP address here. And this is pretty much the same as working with any zone on the natively managed DNS servers. So for the user, there is no difference between managing Amazon, Amazon Route 53 zone or a zone on a bind server. The access model in MetaMice is very granular and flexible. You can have your Active Directory groups and users defined in MetaMice. You can have radius users and then the built-in users and groups in the tool. With version 6.7, we are adding a new access object called roles. The previously built-in admin groups in MetaMice have become roles. And this means that if you create or add an Active Directory group into MetaMice, you can assign these built-in roles to that group and you can also create new roles. This will greatly simplify user administration. So here I have an Active Directory group called MMIPAM admins and if I assign the IPAM admin role to that group then each member of that Active Directory group will, in fact, inherit the IPAN admin role. A new feature in MetaMice is the server and service monitoring. Every minute, MetaMice will check the status of the DNS and DHCP services on the managed DNS servers and also the status of the DNS and DHCP servers themselves and notify the user, both via the UI and also through the logs, if the service fails. Now we can demonstrate this by stopping the DNS service on this Windows server. So here I go to DNS server and stop it. And within a minute, MetaMice will show in the status bar here that the service is not available anymore. The en an entry is created in the log and you can configure MetaMice to send the log entries as SNP traps to your monitoring system. So you will be notified if the service goes down. And now we see that MetaMice has noticed that the DNS service is down. You can see it in the UI, and as said before, this is also noted in the logs. Management of reverse zones and PTA records has been greatly improved in the new version. You can select an IP address range, such as this one here, and update the PTO records for the range by going into the update reverse records. MetaMask will notice if the reverse zone already exists and then it will update the reverse zone. If it doesn't, 
you can select on which servers to host the new zone. And then you can create the zone. And now a reverse zone has been created on my DNS service. So if I go into my Maya plant here, I can see that this is the new zone with all the PTA records from all the IP, from the IP range I selected. And a slave instance has been created on my backup appliance. This function is also available for multiple zones. So I can take slash 24 zones here like slash 24, select multiple zones, and update the reverse records. In previous versions of Metamask, you would see the PTR status of IP addresses in the subnet window. We, in the new version, you also see the PTR status here. But the difference is that if you open up details on an IP address, you can see there's a warning triangle here indicating that a PTR record is missing. And from this view here, you can create the PTR record. So if I go here and add related, I select PTR, Metamize automatically fills in the correct entries. Hit OK. The PTR record is noted here. It's still a warning triangle because the record hasn't been created until I hit the OK button. Okay. Now the verify status has uh, the PTR status has become OK. If I open up details on the IP address again, I can see that this is P the PTR record for my A record. The zone name it's in, and also on which servers the zone is stored. In version 6.6 .6 of Metamize, we started showing the utilization of subnets in the grid, but that only applied to static subnets. In the new version, we are adding this functionality as well for scopes, and the utilization shown for scopes applies to the dynamic part of the scope, that is, the IP addresses that the DHP server can give out to clients. We can sort by the utilization and also use the quick filter to find scopes that are more than, let's say, 20% utilized. So type is a scope and util is greater than 20%. And only one of my scopes matches this filter. The TLSA DNS research record type is used to associate a TLS service certificate or a public key with a domain name where the record is found. In version 6.7, we are adding support for managing the TLSA DNS research record. I open up my zone here, and I type in the parameters for the TLSA record. And now my TLSA record has been created in the zone. But this feature is currently only supported on bind servers. For more information on TLSA, Dane, and DNSSEC, you can view a recording of a recent Metamize webinar on the topic. In version 6.6, .6, we added the Jump to feature in Metamize that allowed users to quickly navigate to an object they wish to edit. In this version, we are putting a box down in the left corner here in the management console with the jump to feature. So it's easily accessible here. And you can type in an IP address or domain name of the object you wish to edit. So if I type in an IP address and hit return, it opens the subnet that contains the IP and also the details on the IP address. And the same applies if I enter a domain name. So here I enter a fully qualified domain name, hit return, and the zone that contains the DNS entry opens up, 
and minimize automatically filters down to the object I entered in the jump to. For more information on the new release, please refer to the release notes on our documentation servers. Thank you.